Good afternoon, everybody. This is Greg with Mineral Springs. Um, we're trying to, this is the time of year when the fish really back off on their breeding. Um, even though the temperature remains the same in here, and you can see it's about 85 degrees, um, they still know that it's winter time, they're not supposed to be breeding, and, and they, the, the breeding is kind of sketchy in the very cold months. This is January 31st, so and it's like 28 degrees outside. Um, the fish are doing fine. I do have a female right there. You can see her, she's got a mouthful of eggs. She got eggs yesterday. And then I have another one over here. Um, and I think she got a mouthful of eggs yesterday. And I believe that you can see the male and another fish in here. And I believe that she's preparing to lay eggs and he's he was cleaning out the pot and he'll he'll uh, matter of fact she's got eggs you can see the way her mouth is moving so that's the second one in here that's gotten eggs so she just laid her eggs in the pot now there's another one in with him I, I don't know what's going on maybe they're having a breeding free-for-all um, so I've got several pregnant or females that are holding um, I will probably let the original two, this one here, this big one that got her eggs yesterday, and the one in the other tank over there that got her eggs yesterday, I will probably let them hold until tomorrow, and then I'll strip the eggs and put them in a tumbler. Um, that way I'll make sure I get the fry out rather than them swallowing the, the eggs. Um, I've got one tank, 155 here, full of fish that will be going out in the next couple of weeks you can see the different sizes you know there's a big one there and there's several large ones uh, probably 50 or so that are over an inch and then the rest are a little bit under an inch uh, but they will grow quickly these fish here these are food grade fish of one inch fish and these are one inch fish here these will all go out probably Friday when it warms up a little bit. And I've got one tank of fry. Um, these fish will be moved to a 55 probably today or tomorrow. So <clears throat> I'm still doing okay. It's just slow this time of year. And it's good because you don't have that many sales this time of year. So you don't want, you know, 20 tanks full of small fish. Where I can just you get uh, have like right now I've only got one small small set of fry which I'll get some more in the next few days obviously and I've got three or four hundred uh, fish that are between fingerling and half inch size uh, you really don't know they haven't they're not a month old yet so they'll be these are the real fast growers you know the big ones. Um, but within probably two weeks, most of these will be an inch. The rest will be less, some three quarters, some still a half. That's what happens. They don't always grow. You can see there's well, there's not a lot of tiny ones in here, but you can see some real smaller ones back in there, half inch fish that probably aren't going to grow much at all. Um, I make sure I put enough food in there so everybody gets plenty. But um, I just try to keep the water relatively clean and, and keep the fish in an atmosphere where they can breed if they want to. These guys haven't bred for a while. I would imagine that they'll kick in here pretty soon. But uh, that's where I'm at today. Um, I'll let you know how it goes in the next couple of weeks. Let you know if those eggs survive. I always, even though the eggs could be fertilized today, and I probably could strip the eggs today and, and put them in a tumbler, that doesn't necessarily guarantee that they'll hatch. If I leave, if I let the females hold them for a day or two and then strip them, then they're more likely to be well fertilized, taken care of, and stripped. So, 
currently I've got well he's back in there with the other pregnant one she must be laying another clutch you can you can see her there she is she's not done yet so I'll leave I'll leave, get out of here in a minute and that one's had her eggs like I say since yesterday so I'll probably take her eggs from her too um, that's where I'm at right now. We're trying to get geared up for this coming year. We got a lot to do. And I've got some fish down here that have grown out to be breeders. Some of them are big enough I can sex them. About two and a half to three inches in that range is where I can tell the sex of these fish. So I'll start sexing these pretty soon and build, start building new colonies to replace some of these older, bigger colonies. All right, I just want to show you where I was and what I was doing. But we'll get back with you. Show you what's going on next week or a week after. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you get a chance. And uh, I'll show you what's going on all the time.